everybody. I'm Christina Tonneveld, the Recovering Traditionalist, and I am doing a little bit uh, different kind of video today for this week. Normally, I don't get on and like promote a certain product, but there is a product that you guys need to know about, and you need to know about it because you can create a Donors Choose project and ETA Hand to Mind is matching to help make sure that your project gets funded. Now, the project has to involve one of their, their products, but this product is something that is fabulous, you guys. You guys know I am so big on building number sense and helping kids develop fluency by building their number sense. Well, Hand to Mind has these fabulous kits called Daily Math Fact Fluency. I think I just got that wrong. It was Daily Fact Fluency, not Math Fact Fluency, but Daily Fact Fluency. And I'm gonna share with you grade one, three, and five, so you can get a little bit of a picture of what's inside of these things. Because here's the thing, you can do a donor's choose and get it funded that way, but also you guys know that I am doing my number sense courses right now, the online courses, and I just got off a call with them that for participants in these courses, we're gonna be doing some giveaways of these kits. So if you register for this course, you are going to be able to be entered into a drawing. For course participants, we're gonna have them scattered throughout the three months of the course, and you're gonna be able to win some. So if you wanna be able to win them, then you can sign up for my courses. If you wanna create a Donors Choose project and get that funded, go get it on there and have ETA Hand to Mind match the, the um, funds that are coming in so that you can get your project funded if it includes these kits. So let's take a look at these kits because you guys, I, when I open these, I am so excited. Now, I, I do work with ETA Hand to Mind. I have some affiliate links with them, but I'm not linking these with any kind of affiliate. I am sharing these with you guys because I stinkin' love them, and I want to encourage you to get your Donors Choose project up with these so that you can get them into your classroom, okay? So let's take a look. I'm gonna flip this around and show you what's inside. Okay, so hopefully this isn't too jittery. I'm totally doing this with my iPhone, but the kit comes like this, and the coolest part about the first grade one, let me do this, it comes with a wreck and wreck. So if you don't have a wreck and wreck, you get one in this kit. So it, all of them come with a book. So here's third grade, here's your fifth grade one. It comes with a book with some information in here and some math talks to do, but they also have these lovely strings that come, and there's actually two of them. I just undid one of them. So each card will give you a string of problems to give with your kiddos, because you know I'm a big fan of that, right? Let's give them some related problems, and they aren't just numerals. There's ones that come with things that you do with the wreck and wreck as well. So the kit contains number strings, okay? The first grade kit also, well, yeah, first and third grade, but I'll show you this. First grade kit also comes with some um, dot cards and picture cards to be able to do subitizing with. Those are just some examples. And also some cards that have the five frames, they have the 10 frames, and then they also have double 10 frames. And oftentimes we do a lot with double 10 frames where we put the other frame underneath, but it does not have to be that way. So they've got them set up in multiple ways. Now, the one thing I really, really wanted to show you from the first grade kit is this lovely number path. Sorry, it's not coming apart because it's magnetic. Woohoo! And so that can go up on your whiteboard, but it's got spots for you to put in your number cards. And it comes with a whole thing of number cards. And so if you've ever used a number path before that I talk about, this is super awesome because you can start your path at any number and you can leave some of them blank and have kids talk about what comes before, what comes after, right? And so you can go all the way up through, the cards come to 120, but if you wanna make your own cards, if you've got kids that wanna extend past that, uh, it's super easy that you can just make your own little cards and put them in there. And I love that their cards come different colors, so you get five of the reds and then five of the whites, so that it can match up with the stuff that you're learning about the wreck and wreck. Love, love, love this little dilly dally there. I don't know what to call it, but I love this little thing 
to put up on your whiteboard and be able to um, use the number pass and make your own little number pass. They called it um, the number path pocket chart. It comes, each of the little things comes with an activity guide. Um, but for those of you who are taking the number sense courses, you're gonna learn a lot about why these things are so powerful. What are number strings and why are they so useful? So that's one of the big pieces that I love is that ETA Hand to Mind is giving us the stuff to help us be able to implement and the courses give you the, the knowledge about why we should be using it and how to use it. So there's one for first grade. There are There's ones for each grade level, but they just sent me first, third, and fifth to look at and get my opinion on. And so far, you guys, I, I have not seen anything that I don't like. This, I opened these with just like uh, a kid on Christmas. Like these were so awesome. So this piece, this is from third grade. It's the Wreck and Wreck, where they take it and put it into a big old line of 100. Okay, and you guys can't see it, but it comes together. It's all folded up and then you can put it together so it gets a big old long line to help with addition and subtraction stuff. There's a little example of it on their book. Okay, but the third grade one also comes with a lot for multiplication. So here's some multiplication dot cards for those of you who've done any of the webinars here recently. They created dot cards um, and picture cards. So it's not just dots. There's some pictures. Um, Here's some more pictures, or those ones are dots. Where's a picture one? There's a picture one, okay? And helping kids use their subitizing and connecting it to multiplication. Uh, they have the strings as well. So there's strings of things to do in here, and there's addition, subtraction. There's multiplication stuff as well with lots of visuals for the multiplication. I, I'm just like so blown away with the thought that they put into these kits. It's like everything that I've been talking about and I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it. So don't forget, you can create a donors choose project um, and get this funded because ETA Hand of Mind's uh, matching stuff. So the other cool thing in the third grade that I wanted to share with you are these grids. They're area models, but they are flexible. So I could fold this, right, to help kids. So if this, this is a six by six array, but I could help them see a connection between a six by three and then what happens to a six by six? This is really hard when I'm trying to hold it <laughs> with one hand and video with the other. But you can do lots of folding and you can even color on these um, to help kids start to see groupings using these grids. So very excited to see those flexible grids in there. Okay, last one is fifth grade. And oh, all of them come with um, some fact, um, fluency anchor charts and other things inside of there. I'm a big fan of, if you're putting up posters, make sure you wait until kids have developed these ideas. Don't just put the posters up and, and like hope that they get something out of it. Build their understanding through the rest of these kits. And as they build understanding, then the charts go up on the wall, okay? So um, with fifth grade, again, lots of strings, number string stuff happening here. We've got some addition stuff, there's multiplication, and of course fractions uh, in fifth grade, that's a big deal as well. So there's two of those things. Uh, they have some two colored counters, so there's yellow ones and red ones, which I haven't dug into fully, but I'm expecting that will be dealing with positives and negatives. They have magnetic Cuisinaire rods, so you, I didn't take these all out because I didn't want to lose all the pieces yet. Um, but you take them apart and it becomes like the Cuisinaire rod, so you can have them up on your whiteboard. And then the piece that I was super thrilled about, like I, when I opened this, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I saw first all of these fraction pieces here that are circles. And I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of circles when it comes to fractions because circles are just hard to draw, it's hard to get them accurate. Uh, but the thing I loved about what they put into this kit is that you also get one that goes along with the whole kit that's talking about degrees. So you can connect the measurement ideas with fractions and also one that looks very similar to a clock because a clock is very cool way to talk about fractions. And basically the circles are like a circular number line. So if you've been doing a lot with number lines with fractions, all it takes is connecting the ends of your of those number lines to make the circle, and you can transition to this idea of using circles to help kids understand fractions and making the connection to time, making connection to percentages, to um, 
to the, the degrees of a circle, all of those pieces. So I'm actually really excited to dig into those. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like having the circular manipulatives for fractions, but I do, there is a definite place for using circles. It's not like you never use them, but I love how they're building in the connection to the other circles that kids are gonna be exposed to and how it helps them understand fractional amounts. So I am really excited about these kits, you guys. So again, I'm gonna tell you, Go to Donors Choose and get a project going and request one of these for your grade levels. Again, there are ones for each of the grade levels. Uh, so go in there, find the one that you want, put in a Donors Choose request for that, and hopefully they will get funded. And if you have joined me for the Number Sense 101 course for this round, right now that's happening, if you've been in it in the past, so we it's for the people that are taking it right now in October, have registered, class starts November 9th, um, you will be entered into drawings for these along the way. So as long as you're keeping up with your coursework, as long as you are continuing through, it's going to be kind of a little bit of a carrot to get you through the course. Uh, we are offering up these. We're going to do one right away once the course starts. So even if you fall off the course as we get going, we're going to be offering up ones at the beginning and then during the middle of the course and then at the end of the course you'll have a chance to win one of these for your grade level so whatever grade that if you're the one who gets chosen it'll be for whatever grade level you teach so these things are just fabulous you guys i cannot wait to get into the classroom and use these because just looking at them i'm like salivating i can't wait to get these out there with kids so I hope that this has given you some ways that you might be able to build your students' math minds and go get one of these projects going on Donors Choose. All right, have a great day and thank you again to Hand to Mind for sending these to me and thank you for creating the Donors Choose projects where you guys are helping fund these because these are fabulous and need to be in the hands of all teachers. Have a great day, guys.